Combat Patrol magazine is a Chatbot Works magazine that allows you to collect 9 Warhammer 40k Combat Patrols over the course of 90 weekly issues. A test run of this magazine was done in selected areas of the UK during January 2024. Four first issues were available during the test run, and today we are going to open the issue number three from that test run. So, how do we know this is an issue from a test run? We know that because a real issue, not from the test run, but the retail one, has another cover, which you can see, guys, on your screens right now. And this issue uh, reuses the cover from the first issue. You can see this is saying three, but uh, the cover is from issue number one. So in this issue, we have five Infernus Marines and we get some additional fluff over here. Let's go ahead and uh, open the magazine. So this is what we get here. First of all, first and foremost, we get a sprue of five Infernus Marines. They look quite cool. This sprue is amazing. We get the bases too. And we get the magazine itself. I'm gonna take a look at it in a moment, but let's take a look at this thing. So this is some sort of cards that can be used during the first games. I think you're supposed to kill those things during the first test scenarios. Anyways, let's take a look at the magazine itself. We have really cool looking Infernus Marines on the cover. And let's open it and see what's inside. As always, they start the magazine with the information how to build your minis. In this case, we have Inferno Squad. They start with the Sergeant. And then we continue with other, other minis. All of them look fairly straightforward. Not a lot of parts are involved. And uh, they say that this is push fit and it does not require any glue. They explicitly mention it here. Then we have a little bit of fluff. They tell us about the Imperium of Mankind, the Million Worlds, Hive Worlds, Forge Worlds, Agri Worlds, Shrine Worlds. They explain us what Imperium consists of. And then they tell us about the Space Marines. Space Marines at War. Bringers of Doom, Avenging Angels of Death. They are the Space Marines. Mm. Really nice. Some information about the Space Marines. Vanguard Space Marines. Armored support. We can see a nice Land Raider here. All the new tanks. Surprisingly, there are no old tanks on this picture, which is interesting. Companies. They explain us how the structure of Space Marine chapters work. First Company, Terminators, 10th Company, the Scouts, Deep Strike. Here they explain us how to Deep Strike into different places. Some additional information. And here comes the Inferno Squad. This is the way to personalize your squad. So you can give a name to your squad, and I'm pretty sure you will be able to give names to different, or maybe not. Maybe you only can name the squad itself. So you can throw some dice and uh, get a name of the squad over here. I actually quite like that they have this personalization kind of thing. So you can distinguish between the squads. And uh, maybe it has some practical purpose of uh, running crusades later on. This is the data sheet for the Inferno squad. And here they tell us how to name Space Marine units. Very cool. Unit names. Yet again, they give you the possibility to name your units. Throwing dice. And here we are moving into the play part. I think they will explain us how to use the Infernus Marines on the battlefield. Shooting attacks. Give us an example. Fake Flame is going on Van Ryan Leapers. And we have a mission number three. Clan Spurge. 
kill. So that is where these things were important. We are supposed to run through the battlefield with our Infernus Marine and uh, kill everybody. These are the things that we are supposed to be getting rid of. Very, very cool. The battle, they explain us how the turn is organized. Normal move, run move, attacking, attacking with the Furnace Marine, who's a target, work out how many hits. They explain all the nitty gritty details. That is actually quite cool. It's a very nice explanation. The battle ends for now. Mm. Space Marine victory and Tyranny's victory. And they explain us what happens. And of course, some ads over here and some wound markers. That's actually quite smart. You can cut them out. And this is the whole collection of Combat Patrol that you are supposed to get. Over the 90 issues of the magazine. And probably these are the paints and the tools. Yep, here comes some ads of the following issues. We have already opened issue number 5 with a unique Infernus Marine Sergeant. And spoiler alert, the issue number 5 does not have this cover either. So I think it was supposed to have a generic cover, but last time we got it and this is the real cover for issue number 5. So you know that they actually changed some covers along the way. And issue number four, of course, contains some paints and some starter brush over here. And uh, yeah, that is gonna be pretty much it for today, my friends. Uh, let me know in the comment section below. What do you think of this magazine so far? Do you like it? Do you want to purchase it? Are you awaiting this magazine to land in your country? Let me know in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Max is out. Take care. Bye.